looking at the Balji Paper 1 for June 2021, the customary instruction status off. And before we get started, we want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel, to like the video, and to leave us your comments for any issues or anything you may be having. We are looking forward to the helping candidates prepare for their exams. So let's jump into it with question one. Which of the following features is used to classify a group of organisms as class insecta? And that is the number of segments. Uh, insects have three head, thorax, abdomen. Which of the following option correctly identifies a niche and a habitat in question two? The role uh, organism plays uh, its job, its duty, that is what a niche is. And the habitat is the place where the organism lives. So A is the answer. Living organisms such as plants are affected by abiotic factors. Notice the capitalized word. Abiotic factors are non-living factors, which determine where they become established. And they are talking about plants. Which of the following options list some of these determining factors? Uh, sunlight, we're talking about plants, so sunlight availability, soil pH, and minerals will be great factors. Question four, which of the following organisms are most important in biodegradation? And that would have to be bacteria. A farmer notices pink millibugs in his garden. He advises he is advised to introduce the ladybird beetle to control the millibugs. The type of relationship between the millibug and the ladybird beetle is described as the predator and prey. He is using the ladybird beetle to uh, keep the population of the millibugs in check by having them be the predator and the millibug the prey. Question six, which of the following statements about recycling uh, manufactured materials are true? Less energy is used in the manufacturing of new products by using the raw materials from recycled products. Yes, some manufactured products can be recycled. Yes, recycling of some non-biodegradable materials prevent landfill sites from filling up too quickly and for a long time. Yes, so one, two, and three, we are going with D. Not all manufactured products will be recycled, but they said some, which makes it correct. Approximately 10% of the energy stored in food is available to the next organism in the food chain because most of the energy is lost during the process of respiration. Remember, you have respiration, you have excretion, but more energy is lost through respiration. So it makes A the best answer. Which of the following materials is considered to be non-biodegradable? And it would have to be the metal one, the sardine can. Replanting trees on a bare hillside is an example of uh, reafforestation and restoration. All right? Remember they said that you are replanting. It means it had trees there before. The trees went away for some reason and you are putting them back. Question 10. The greatest threat to the survival of coral reefs is, and once you read your answers, you know, and you know this personally because you are in a Caribbean state or a small island developing state, SIDS. So increasing ocean temperatures has drastic effects on coral reefs. Uh, item 11 refers to the following graph of population growth. We see the, the graph growing up and then it coming down in section four. Phase four of the graph of population growth is most likely due to some event that causes the population to decline. All right, so that would be competition from invasive species. Uh, the others will cause the population to go up, not to decline. When compared to a cheek cell, a muscle cell contains more 
mitochondria it has more work to do it needs more energy mitochondria is associated with energy question 13 which of the following label structure is responsible for controlling cellular activities and it would have to be the nucleus this is a vacuole this is a permanent large vacuole in the plant cell and then we have the chloroplast and we have one being the mitochondria so d for the nucleus item 4 refers to the following diagrams, which show a process by which substances are moved into and out of cells. We have the two diagrams here, and it shows the dilute sugar solution, a decreasing level, the sh concentrated sh sugar solution increase in level, right? You see the level going up here, uh, the level going down here, and this side is definitely higher than this level. So we see a change in level. Which of the following options correctly identifies and describe the process occurring? And they have a, a membranes, some kind of membrane going down the center here. So that instantly tells us that we are dealing with osmosis and it's water molecules that are moving across. So we are just looking for that and water moving from dilute to concentrated solution. B. Which of the following functions is not correctly matched to the organelle? If we read out all the answers, we will see that B, protein synthesis, which is done by the rough endoplasmic reticulum, they have matched it with the organelle chloroplast, which means it is not correctly matched, hence B is the answer. Uh, 16 refers to the following diagram, which shows a xylem vessel. We see the space, remember xylem vessels are dead, so they have no nucleus. The major feature that is responsible for the rigid structure of the xylem vessel is the lignin. The lignin that is formed in the cell walls. I mean, all plants have cell walls, but all of them are not rigid. It's because of this lignin that they become rigid. 17, which of the following features does not enhance a leaf's ability to absorb solar energy? And it is the presence of a vascular bundle, that phloem and xylem that not benefit any plant with respect to absorbing energy, which is sunlight. Item 18 refers to the following diagram, which represents a metabolic process carried out in plants. We have water like carbon dioxide, which produces food and oxygen. The food produced is glucose because this process is a diagrammat diagrammatic representation of photosynthesis. Nineteen refers to the following graph of a rate of photosynthesis versus light intensity. Uh, which of the following statements best accounts for the shape of the graph? And if you read all the answers, and you would have to read all the answers to get to this one, D, as light intensity increases, there is an increase in photosynthesis until there is no further increase in the rate due to some other limiting factor. So we see light intensity increasing. The rate was going up until it could go up no more. And it went across, it plateaued because some other factor became limited. All right, so D is the answer. Um, 20. Which of the following organisms is a saprophyte? And if we're thinking saprophyte, then you should be thinking bread mold from the ones that are provided here. An enzyme is best defined as a molecule which increases the rate of a chemical reaction but remains unchanged. Basically, uh, the enzyme you use, you will get back in the end. So D is the best answer. 
item 22 refers to the following equation, which shows the oxidation of glucose in cells. The energy release from the process above is stored in high energy bonds in ATP. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. ADP stands for adenosine diphosphate. When you want to store the energy, you use adenosine triphosphate. Item 23 refers to the following diagram of a respiratory structure. The respiratory structure shown above is an alveolus. Another name for alveolus is ESA. 24. Which of the following is an effect of carbon monoxide found in cigarette smoke? Uh, carbon monoxide binds to the red blood cells, the hemoglobin, so it reduces the ability for red blood cells to carry oxygen. So the best answer is C. 25, why is it difficult to develop a vaccine for the common coal? That's because it's always changing and the proteins on the surface always change, which you know as the antigens. So the antigens on the common coal virus change frequently. In heart bypass surgery, an artery is advantageous over a vein to bypass the blockage because arteries have thicker, more muscular walls than veins. This is true, right? So it means they're able to withstand more pressure. They are more supported. Which of the following options best identify some of the transport substances in animals? They ask for the best. In animals, by the way, so this is of note. Amino acids, that's true. Hormones, yes. Glucose, yes. So we're looking for an answer that corresponds to all three. Let's set up D. Question 28. In the transport of solids in the fluid, the source is identified as any area of the plant where sucrose is loaded into the fluid. Under which conditions will the rate of transpiration in plants be the highest? Uh, sunlight and high wind speeds that will provide the highest rate of transpiration. And transpiration is the loss of water from plants. Item 30 refers to the following diagram of a mammalian kidney nephron which option correctly relates to the processes occurring in the parts label one, two, and three. One is the Bowman capsule where ultrafiltration, the filtrate from ultrafiltration uh, goes. Two is the proximal or first convoluted tubule, that selective reabsorption. And three is the loop of Henley, which controls water, water regulation, water conservation. So we are looking for that, which puts the answer at B. Do remember to subscribe and like for more videos as a way of showing your support for the work we are doing in releasing these multiple choice papers. Question 31, the best description for the role of excretion in living organisms is to get rid of toxic waste. Excretory waste is usually uh, toxic. That's why you do need to get rid of it. Question 32, which of the following is not a form of excretion in plants? It is not. And once you read it, you would see water vapor diffusing out through the epidermis. That's not excretion. All the others are carbon dioxide diffusing out through the somata. Carbon dioxide is excretion for respiration. The substances being stored in the bark of the tree. Remember, you have things like tannins and dyes which are stored to be excreted. 
and calcium oxalate crystals being stored in leaves during fall season, yes, and many times they fall to the ground, the leaf turns brown. Uh, that's a way of the plant doing excretion. Question 33, which of the following correctly describes movement in plants? So growth movement, heart movement, whole body movement. Well, for plants, the whole body movement isn't applicable. So we are looking for one and two, which is B. In humans, the skeletal system performs a variety of function, including blood cell formation, hormone formation, immune response, mastication, which is a fancy word for chewing. So the answer is A. Remember, Red blood cells and white blood cells, the human skeleton is responsible for making them. Locomotion is important to animals for avoiding predators, yes. Acquiring food and shelter, yes. Reproduction, meaning like finding mates, yes. So we are looking at for one, two, and three, which is D. Item 36 refers to the following diagrams. Illustrating an experiment, and we notice these experiments and the changes are coming uh, at the tip. What is happening at the tip? After a few days, the tallest shoot would most likely be one because it has a foil cap. Because no light is happening, the tip will elongate because a hormone is released that causes uh, cell division on the tip. That hormone is oxygen and it elongates cells. Question 37, which of the following options best describes the term stimulus and a response? Stimulus is a change in the environment and a response is the reaction to the change or the reaction to the stimulus. And the best answer that would give us that is B. 38 refers to the following diagram of a spinal reflex. Remember, spinal reflex happens on the body, meaning neck downwards. That's a spinal reflex. A cranial reflex happens on the head. So we have one, two, and three. And if this is going to the bicep, pay attention. The bicep means that is the effector, the receptor skin of the hand so this is a sensory neuron so two is the sensory neuron and we are looking for that as the our hint which puts it right here uh three is the relay neuron remember the relay neuron this will put the spinal cord and the bicep is the motor neuron so the answer is c the role of an effector is to respond to a stimulus. Item 40 refers to the following diagram of an eye which shows nearsightedness. And that means that the image is being formed that place where the X happens right here. The image is being formed in front of the retinoids. You ideally want it to be formed here. Which of the following shows the defect can be corrected? So what you need to do is get a divergent lens so the a light bends outward more before the lens of the eye starts. So you push the image being formed back onto the retina. So the answer for 40 is A. The following statements describe the processes taking place within a seed during germination. The embryo uses food to develop the radical and pumule. The radical becomes the root. The pumule becomes the shoot. Enzymes break down proteins into amino acids. Yes, soluble products move into the embryo, which of the following correctly identifies the sequence of events during germination, and that would be D. So two, three, and one must happen in that order. 
Item 42 refers to the following graph, which illustrates a measurement of growth in living organisms. Which of the following is an incorrect label for the y-axis? And that would have to be time. Time should ideally be placed on the x-axis. 43. Item 43 refers to the following activities involved in the menstrual cycle, repair of the uterine lining, ovulation, shedding, of the uterine lining, development of the graphion follicle, which of the following sequences show the correct order of activities. And if you pay attention to the activities uh, or the answers they give you to choose from, the best one that will line up in the correct order is C. Item 44 refers to the following diagrams of flowers from two different types of plant. We see a nice stringiness here, a nice feather, featheriness here. This indicates that this is a wind pollinated plant. We see a nice hollow to reach down into it. So like some kind of organism would do the pollination for this plant. So which of the following statements is true for both flowers? And uh, if we already understand what type of flowers they are, one is pollinated by the wind, two is pollinated by a hummingbird. 45, which of the following shows the correct sequence for seed formation after fertilization? So it means seed needs to be the end. We have three options to choose from. That means B is out and uh, the ovule must start us off, so that brings us down to two options, and it's ovule, zygote, embryo, and then seed. So A is the correct answer. Item 46 refers to the following diagrams of specialized cell. We see one being a ovum, two being a sperm. Which of the following structures is common to both cells? These are reproductive cells and both of them have a nucleus. In fact, each nucleus contains half the chromosome number for the organism. Uh, 47, which of the following forms of birth control is most likely to be 100% effective, and that will be a surgical method. And the surgical method they have identified is C, tubal ligation, that's for females. 48, a vector is defined as an organism that transmits disease organisms. D, 49, a 60-year-old man has been diagnosed with hypertension as well as diabetes. Which of the following treatments would be most effective for the management of both diseases? He needs to have uh, a diet change, removing the salt and the carbohydrates. He also may want to start exercising. So the best answer being Item 50 refers to the following diagram, which shows the life cycle of a vector. We have a mosquito life cycle. We have eggs at one, larvae at two, pupa at three, and the adult mosquito at four. And they ask you, at which stage is the vector easily controlled by the use of aerosol insecticides? So uh, you could use those kinds of sprays to kill the adult, which is four. Item 51, which of the following best options describe a chromosome? So we're looking for the best option and a structure made up of DNA wrapped around histones, B. Item 52, if a diploid organism has two different alleles for the same gene, it is described as being heterozygous, which is A. 
53, which of the following statements about meiosis is not true? It doubles the number of chromosomes in gametes. That is not true. In fact, the number is actually halved. Tarzan and Jane are heterozygous for blood groups A and B, respectively. So it means Tarzan is OA and Jane is OB. Which of the following shows all the possible results for their genetic cross? So you would have 25% O, 25% OA, 25% OB, and 25% AB. So it means you have four outcomes, and the only one that presents us with that is D. We do want to remind you to subscribe to the channel as a way of showing your support as we get into question number 55. As a result of mitosis, each daughter cell has a variable number of chromosomes, twice the number of chromosomes as the parent cell, the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell, half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. And if we are talking about mitosis, you know, the parent cell and the daughter cells has the same number of chromosomes. So C is the answer for 55. 56, one example of a sex link disease is colorblindness. Your syllabus does require you to know color blindness and hemophilia. 57, variation in a population is due to mutation, crossing over asexual reproduction. No, so we're looking for one and two, which is a 58. A species consists of members that interbreed and produce fertile offspring. D. 59, which of the following descriptions is true for natural and artificial selection? Natural selection produces a great biological diversity and artificial selection produces a very different organism from natural population. Natural populations meaning nature, if natural selection had occurred. Item 60 refers to the following diagram, which shows stages 1, 2, 3, and 4 in the production of insulin by genetic engineering. We have one over here where the plasmid is taken out, it's opened up. Two is where they have isolated the human gene that they want to put into the plasmid. Three is where they have put it into the plasmid and closed the plasmid. And four, they have reinserted it into the bacterium and will let it reproduce. In which of the stages above can insulin be produced by the bacterium? That will be when the new plasmid, the genetically altered plasmid is inserted back into a bacterium, which they have identified as four. And that brings us to the end of this June 2021 paper one for biology. Do let us know how it was for you. Any comments? Do remember to subscribe.